Hey guys, how's it going? So I went to the doctors today and got the results of the biopsy. And um, it turns out that it's Good morning. I am here sipping cream of wheat. Made it very, very, very low in consistency so that I could drink it. I'm still somewhat on a soft diet. I'm going to call Dr. Whiting, who is uh, the oral surgeon on my case, and find out what's going on. Find out what's happening. <sighs> a little nervous, but I'm really trying to put all my faith in God right now. Not to get anxious or have anxiety over all this. But, yeah, I'm gonna call him, find out what's going on. I haven't heard from him yet, and I'm supposed to be meeting with him today to find out the results. So let's see. Hi, Dr. Whiting. Yeah. Hi, it's Andre Harrison. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm doing yep. a... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a... today? Uh, yeah, can, uh, can I come in today? I wasn't sure if the, the results came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, come in today. Uh, I'm sure. I haven't seen them. They have come back. In. It usually only comes back in two weeks. Um, let me... When I get down there, I'll give you a call. Because if they haven't come back, you know, there's no, no reason. Um, okay. Um, when I get down there, let me, let me give you a call. You could come in. If I get there at 1, you could come in by 3 or something, right? Yeah, sounds good. Yep. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll call you as soon as I find out, okay? All right. Thank you so much, Doctor. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, got to wait a little longer. It's now 10.23. I guess I can wait. I think I'm supposed to be at work by... 30. I may be a little late, <laughs> but all right, not a problem. Make it work. Yep, so I just got a call from Dr. Whiting. I'm on my way now to get the results and um, to discuss um, further treatment. <sighs> a little nervous, but I'm it's 12.23 now. I'm on my way to the hospital now. Right. Here he goes. Guys, so, I'm on my way now to the hospital. I just parked my car. Make sure my door's locked. It's locked. So I can get the results of the biopsy. I'm a little nervous. But it's all right. I believe in God. God's sovereign. And um, and uh, still on the throne. But I'm encouraged. You know, I'm believing God that I don't have um, cancer. That uh, it's just like a, a benign tumor that needs to be removed. But it is really uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. The confusing thing is this. There's two sections of the hospital that I can go in. I'm not sure which section it is though. <laughs> I don't remember. So I'm gonna go into one and go to the other. The problem is that both areas that I have the potential to go into are on opposite sides of the hospital. So it's an inconvenience if I go to the wrong one first. So we'll see. We'll see. So it turned out that the first place I went to was the wrong place. So <laughs> I'm on my way to the other place now. But that happens all the time. It is what it is. 
I ordered the pop socket thing for your phone to make you hold the phone better. Can't wait for that to come in. My cousin Khadija has it. I fell in love with it. It's comfortable. It's pretty good. But, all right, time to get these results. Hey guys, how's it going? So I went to the doctors today and got the results of the biopsy. And um, turns out that it's benign. The tumor is not cancerous, but there is a tumor in my jaw. Um, now I have to go January 25th to see the surgeon and the plastic surgeon about removing the tumor. But it looks like that it's not just going to be uh, them removing the tumor. I'm probably going to get a second opinion, but they're going to be removing uh, this section of my jaw um, just because the tumor ate too much of the the bone, my jaw bone, so I will be talking to them about that. Um, the doctor said today that what may happen is that they'll re take out the section of my jaw and then replace it with um, a plate. And then when it heals, they'll do some bone grafting and probably get some bone from my hip or whatever. I don't know. But, um, you guys can start calling me Iron Jaw. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's um, the result of the um, biopsy. It's benign, so I'm happy about it. that. It's not cancerous. Um, but it is a possibility that um, the procedure of removing this tumor, because it, this particular tumor has um, a high rate of regrowth, so they can take the tumor out, but there's a strong possibility, a 40% chance, that it'll keep growing back. And uh, I'll continue having this problem, but if they remove this section of the jaw, which is very thin anyway, and um, liable to get fracture over any little thing, I'll put a plate there, and then do bone grafting and some reconstructive surgery to make me look as normal as I can, but the doctor did say that there's going to be a definite um, noticeable change to my jaw, um, so I'm hoping that I won't look um, totally different, um, but that's the fact of the situation right now, so uh, honestly, I am afraid of what I'm going to look like afterwards, <laughs> but um, the tumor's got to go. It's got to go. And my hope is that um, I'll be able to um, be able to speak clearly because many of you know I, I speak, I travel, I uh, conduct workshops, I facilitate workshops. Uh, my desire is also to be a teacher with the DOE. So my, my hope is that I'll be able to communicate clearly uh, through my mouth. <laughs> That's it. That's the results of the, the biopsy. It's not cancerous, but it's a little long road ahead. So I appreciate everybody's prayers and um, concern. 